Seems to be more and more options to get around the city from the streetcar to electric scooters and soon electric bikes. But now the city wants to make sure there is room on the road for all of it. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling joining us live. So Nick, how are leaders hoping to keep up with all this? Well, Mike, here in downtown Kansas City, it's not hard to find these scooters or, or these bikes here in the city. And the city wants to create a pilot program to kind of study these modes of transportation to create a plan moving forward. The way we move around Kansas City is changing. It's not just driving your car anymore. It's being on a scooter, bike, streetcar, or bus. We want to create more transportation options for our residents. City spokesman Chris Hernandez says the scooters you see out there now are on an interim agreement with the city. And this pilot program will be the start of a more structured permitting process for these companies. Having it operate for an entire year means we get to see the operations in all four seasons. We are a multi-season city and we want to make sure we see how they operate in all four seasons as well as during any special events or emergency crisis times. Part of the pilot program is a look at the numbers, who is riding and where they're going to give a city an idea of what they need to change. That will enable us to prioritize where we need to build more bike lanes, and make sure we're satisfying the social equity goals and make sure that they are in all serving all neighborhoods of the city as well as determine any long-term policy changes that are needed. Robbie Mackinnon, president of KCATA, says he's noticed more people are using public transit and believes these new modes of getting around helps their goal too. The more access you have, the more options and access you have to different modes, the more apt you are to use public transit. And thinks this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how KC is expanding its transportation options. You're talking about uh, streetcar extensions, you're talking about autonomous vehicles, you're talking about technology changing every six months, for gosh sakes, okay? And what we have to do as a city and as a transit authority is be ready for those changes, and that's the building blocks that we're building now. Bird and Lime have agreements with the city. I'm told that ends when this pilot program starts. Both of those companies can apply for this program, which starts March of next year and runs for the entire year. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.